What's good guys? This is Vahography. I'm Vahagen, your rock and roll photographer. I have a cool video for you guys today. What I have right here, this is a shoebox. And what's in the shoebox? These are my father's, some of my father's old negatives. And back in the day, I'm talking 40, 50 years ago, 60 years ago, he shot, you know, medium format film. And what I'm going to do for you guys today is I brought my old, oh man, I haven't got this thing out in a while. This thing was in storage. I haven't used it in a while. And it specializes in scanning negatives. I purchased this, I would say, a long time ago. I took it out of the garage. We're gonna scan some of his old negatives. All right. All right, well, we got the scanner unit right here. Well, this thing, I haven't used this thing in so long. But basically, this Epson scanner is specializes in scanning your negatives. Check this out, guys. It even has uh, little trays here where you can put your negatives and, and 35 millimeter negative strips here. The old negatives right here. Scanner right there. We'll get the computer. We'll get the software going. We'll scan it up and see what we can do. Edit these old negatives and see what we get. What kind of images we get before and afters and tweak them and edit them and have some fun with this video. All right, guys, something different for you guys. Hope you enjoy this video. Let's get started. We got something going and plug the scanner into the computer here. And it says ready. So let's see if this works. All right, so right now we have the computer hooked up to the scanner. And we're gonna scan, we're gonna attempt to scan our first negatives. Hey guys, check this out. I'm about to scan this 5x7 large format negatives from a 5x7 large format film camera. The ones with the wooden uh, sides and it looks like an accordion. I know I'm supposed to be wearing gloves, but you know what? I can't wait to scan these. This negative is probably. I would say 55 years old. Okay, it's doing something, guys, but I have no idea what the heck. Okay, make sure you have a blower, guys. Like something to blow all the dust off the scanner and the negative before you scan it. But let's try our first scan right now. Let's go. We're scanning a negative, a negative slide, and we're gonna scan it. Here we go. Scanning document one. Here we go, guys. It's rocking its thing right now. It is. There's our first scan. Let's check it out. Okay, there's our first scan. This is the famous Mount Ararat, where you know Noah's Mar Noah's Ark is supposed to be at. So, but we'll go ahead and scan a few more. Whatever he's got in this box. This is a big ass negative. Should be using gloves, but look at that thing. It's huge. So scanning is a long and tedious process, as you guys can imagine. I got some scans in, and I'm about to show you what we have. So the first scan I want to show you, this is of Mount Ararat in 1978 in the city of Artashat, Armenia. So in this series of photographs, I'll show you the scanned raw file first, and then I'll show you an example of what I did to it in Lightroom, adjusted the colors and the sharpness, and see what you can actually do to old negatives. So in this first example right here, of course I could import the image to Photoshop and adjust all the little cracks and specks of the image, but in this video, we won't do that. I'll just throw it in Lightroom, adjust the colors, and make it look proper, so you could see some examples right here. So in these first series of shots, my father used 6x6 medium format film. as a shot of St. Hripsime Church in 1976 near the town of Echmiatsin, Armenia. St. Hripsime is a 7th century Armenian apostolic church it is one of the oldest surviving churches in the country. This next one my father took is of Sasunsi David's statue taken in 1977 in the capital city Yerevan, Armenia. This is by far one of my favorite looking statues 
in all of Yerevan. As you can see, the negative was browning, so what I did was I adjusted the colors, I added a little bit of sharpness, and I got rid of all that brown color. As you can see right here, this image is ready to be displayed or to use in social media or even to print. So this next one is actually a 4x5 negative. And as you can see, Mount Ararat is in the background there and it's really like blown out. So what I did was I tried to preserve the highlights in Lightroom, brought the highlights down and tried to bring out the mountains in the back and the church in the foreground here. This image was taken in 1977 near Artashat, Armenia. Look at the stork and the nest on top of the church there. In Armenian, stork, you say Aragil. Again, in this image, you see the browning of the negative. This was, a, I believe, a 6x6, six six, taken in 1977. And these are ruins uh, near Zvartnots Cathedral. These ruins that you see on the ground there, they were actually from the 6th century. As you can see, back in those times, they created something special. And this is a perfect example how, how important photography really is. Photographers like my father documented history and it's up to us, the newer generation, to preserve these photographs so we can look back at them and learn about our past. So this next scan right here, these are called khachkars. A khachkar also known as an Armenian cross stone. Just the time it took, just the talent it took to carve out these beauties, this, this magnificent work of art in stone is just amazing. The most early khachkas, and we're talking a couple of centuries ago, were erected for the salvation of the soul of either a living or a deceased person. Common locations for early khachkas was in graveyards. However, Armenian gravestones take many other forms and only a minority are khachkars. So in this scan right here, this negative, as you could see, the khachkar is really dark. And when I scanned it and I adjusted it in Lightroom, I brought it up. As you could see, just look at the detail of that carving. It's just amazing. Just a beauty to look at. This is raw talent guys i love the tree branches in the backdrop there and on this next scan this is a 4x5 negative taken in 1967 and this is of my parents my mom and dad 1967 taken in yerevan armenia and when i make the adjustments here in lightroom brought up the exposure adjusted the colors a little bit of contrast cleaned it up a bit and like i said ready for social media you know print this is a 1967 negative, 4x5 negative. And another example of a color negative taken in 1978 of the famous Mount Ararat once again. Over time, these negatives will get damaged, scratched, they lose a little bit of their color. So it's good to preserve it, scan it, you know, edit it, and just, you know, turn it into a digital copy. Ararat, the location of Noah's Ark has an elevation of 16,854 feet. I grew up looking at pictures that my father has taken of Ararat and also a lot of paintings my father has painted of this famous mountains. Yeah, that's me next to one of my father's paintings of Ararat. <laughs> okay, 1982. This picture taken with 6x6, I believe Kodak film this is the armenian genocide martyrs monument in montebello california i made my adjustments in lightroom tweak the colors a little bit add some contrast and i believe it's ready to roll and this next image we all know the twin towers i found this negative in the same shoebox i asked my father about it and he didn't take it uh, i don't know where and how this negative ended up in that shoebox probably a photographer friend of his you know gave it to him or i don't know but, you know, I dedicate this image to all the souls that were lost, September 11, 2001. What a beautiful, beautiful landscape image this is. This is a color slide, a self-portrait of my father with his camera, taken in 1968. My dad has thousands of color slides in carousels. I mean, thousands. And, you know, the majority of his work, landscape work back in the day, are of color slides, not negatives. So, uh, you know, one day I'll bust them out and I'll go through them. But there are thousands and thousands in Armenia, South America. Such a joy to look at in 2021. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video today. 
And uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, Vahography, go ahead and do so. This is a channel where we talk all things photography, like scanning old negatives. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and we'll catch you on the next video. This is Vahography. I'm Vahagin, your rock and roll photographer. And we'll see you on the next one. Rock and roll. <laughs>